You got it? Okay, so today we're going to do a, uh, a scraping for a KOH. And so you see we have a 15 blade and a glass slide. Um, you can uh, use matches to burn the underside of the slide and there's going to be some KOH material but when we go to the lab we'll, we'll see those materials. So, um, some, some, let me just see where we are here. Okay, so first we have to identify the area uh, to be scraped. And here I'm ruling out tinea corpus versus psoriasis. So I'm going to put on some gloves. And uh, we're going to see the patient's in the lesion. Okay. Okay, go ahead, continue reading. Okay, so you hold a glass slide with the edge of its long axis against the skin underneath where the scraping will be done. Take the edge of the short axis of another glass slide and scrape scale onto the first glass slide with a gentle rubbing motion. Blood should not be drawn. Okay, so here you see there's scale and I'm just gently rubbing and a lot of scale is coming off and that's great. Okay, go ahead. If the scale is spread too much around the slide, you will need to bunch it together with the other slide or blade used for the scraping. Okay. If taking a scraping from a tow web using a 15 blade may be easier. In this case, the macerated scale should stick to the blade such that you can smear the material onto the glass slide. So just hold on one second. Grab another glass slide. Mm -hmm. Another way of doing this is to take another glass slide and, and, and generate scale that way. And then you can do that. And now it's good because you can transport the materials. If I sneeze or if there's too much air, it'll blow all the scale away until you get to the lab. Okay, go ahead. If taking a specimen from an oncomycotic nail, use a curette to scrape subungual nail debris onto a slide. Use KOH 20% for nail preparations. So you next apply KOH to the material on the slide. No more than two drops should be used. Okay, so now we're going to